In today's video, I show you how you can record a podcast using the 12.9 inch iPad Pro along with the Blue Snowball Ice microphone. Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to show you using a couple different apps on the iPad Pro, and this is obviously the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, and this next to it is the Blue Snowball Ice microphone, which retails for $20 less than the standard Blue Snowball USB microphone. Now we're gonna use a couple things here, including the Blue Snowball and also two different apps. We're gonna use Boss Jock Studio and Ferrite Studio with that. And also we're gonna show you real quick how to connect a USB port into the Lightning connector on the iPad Pro. So let's go with Boss Jock Studio first and open that up. And this is an app that I've reviewed before. And as a matter of fact, we had Dave on a couple episodes of the T4 Show podcast before it was converted over to Stevie Richards Online podcast. And this application is really, really cool for recording something live. Uh, you can see all these empty boxes here. These are sound cards that you could put clips into bumpers, sweeps, opening. You can even talk over it using this button right here with the microphone. And that's a good text right there. So anyway, we have uh, this microphone right here that you can hold. There's also a lock button so you don't have to keep holding the button down. And then you can export this into Dropbox and other various locations. So uh, let's give that a try and we'll play it back real quick. So what I'm gonna do is hold the microphone down. Testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. See, it looks like we have levels right here, so that's good. And testing one, two, three, one, two, three. This is a test of Box Shock Studio, if I can pronounce it right, along with the uh, Blue Snowball Ice microphone. Okay, so that's it right there. I have to record it. I saw levels, so let's record it right now and do a quick test. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. That was just a warm up before, by the way. <laughs> so uh, now we're live. Uh, we have this highlighted, I can press the lock button if I want, and it will also duck music or any kind of bumpers or sweeps or clips as I talk over them when holding this button. Now I'm gonna slide this over to pause, finish, save the recording. Let's go over here, let's just play it back, see if it actually worked. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. That was just a warm up before, by the way. <laughs> wow. So uh, now we're live, uh, we have this highlighted, I can press the lock button if I want, and it will also duck music or any kind of bumpers or sweeps or clips as I talk over them when holding this button. That sounds really good. That sounds really, really good. The connection problems weren't there at all. And like I said, I may, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna test that out and see, actually, you know what? I might leave that for afterwards so you can hear the audio file because uh, the microphone might not have picked up the audio quality. So, but that sounds really good. So I'm gonna export that right here and I'm uh, going to uh, throw it up on Dropbox. We'll open up uh, Dropbox here. There's just a way you get it up there. You allow it, just a little feature of that and it's linked. So I can also put in sound cards from Dropbox. So we can export that right there. It's been uploaded to Dropbox that quick. So I can put that up get it in iTunes, put it up on Steve Richards Online. Pretty cool there. So let's close that out. As a matter of fact, we're gonna to totally close that out right there. And we're gonna open up Ferrite Studio. I, I'm pretty amazed in Boss Jack how good the Blue Snowball Ice sounded. As a matter of fact, uh, just a side note, I may upgrade to the regular Blue Snowball for a multi-person podcast so it picks up multiple people around the microphone and I can put that right up from there and I, it's a really portable solution. So. Let's try Ferrite Studio. This was on sale. Um, actually, I got the free version. Uh, the premium version, I think, is 10 bucks to un, un, um, unlock everything. You can see it already. I hope you can see that there. I'm gonna bring it a little closer. It recognizes the Blue Snowball microphone right away, and I think that's great. So let's hit that there. Okay, we are testing out Ferrite Studio using the Blue Snowball Ice microphone. Uh, let's see if the sound quality is any better than Boss Jock Studio. Obviously with Ferrite, you would you can have the ability to edit afterwards, but Boss Jock is more of a live recording type app. And you can see up here, the free version has a recording limit of one hour. So I'm down to 59 minutes, 35 seconds and counting. Uh, but you unlock the premium version and you can get uh, whatever storage space 
is left on your iOS device. So pretty impressed. Let's uh, stop it here and see what it sounds like. So here we have the recording here. You can see you can, it keeps giving you an upgrade thing. Uh, let's, uh, new recording. Okay, we are testing out Ferrite Studio using the Blue Snowball Ice Microphone. That sounds really good let's too. Let's see if the sound quality is any better than Boss Jock Studio. Obviously with Ferrite, you would you can have the ability to edit afterwards, but Boss Jock is more of a live recording. I have to say both, both Boss Jock and Ferrite sound amazing. Uh, sound really, really good. Uh, and Boss Jock's around 10 bucks, Ferrite. Let's show the upgrades here. So you can see you have all this stuff for 20 bucks, a little more expensive, but you have uh, tracks and duration upgrade, FX and automation, you have all this stuff. So I just wanna let you guys know, these both these apps in, um, in tandem are really, really good. I, I use both of them, but that's pretty, pretty neat to be able to use these with the Blue Snowball Ice microphone. And I have tried it with uh, the PR40 and the H6, which I'm using to record my lav mic right now. Uh, but this right here sounds amazing. Like I said, I may want to, I may want to upgrade for the 20 bucks and get the ability to record everybody around off of one microphone. That might be a very worthy upgrade. But for game commentary, which I put up with a previous video when I unbox this, works great. Podcasting on an iOS device works really good. I don't even need to upgrade to the 3.0 from what I hear. And um, just to finish it off, let's just uh, play some of those uh, audio clips on their own so you can see how good they sound. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. That was just a warm up before, by the way. <laughs> so uh, now we're live. Uh, we have this highlighted. I can press the lock button if I want, and it will also duck music or any kind of bumpers or sweeps or clips as I talk over them when holding this button. Okay, we are testing out Ferrite Studio using the Blue Snowball Ice microphone. Uh, let's see if the sound quality is any better than Boss Jock Studio. Obviously, with Ferrite, you would you can have the ability to edit afterwards, but Boss Jock is more of a live recording type app. And you can see up here, the free version has a recording limit of one hour, so I'm down to 59 minutes, 35 seconds, and counting. Uh, but you unlock the premium version and you can get uh, whatever storage space is left on your iOS device. So pretty impressed. Let's uh, stop it here and see. What so this will be what I call a very successful test and it makes this purchase and probably the upgrade to the $20 extra for the uh, standard blue ice USB microphone in combination with the iPad Pro. I, I You know, I, if you want a podcast and you don't even have a computer and all you have is an iPad or even an iPhone, uh, that can handle the lightning to USB adapter. You can use both of these apps on your iPhone as well. So it doesn't even have to just be an iPad or an iPad Pro. Of course, the extra screen real estate makes it much easier, especially with Boss Shock, to be able to use the sound cards. And also if you wanna edit, makes it a little bit easier with the bigger screen, but this is incredible. So I, I highly recommend this. This microphone, I'm actually falling more and more in love with it with every use. The game commentary alone on the PS4 is really worth it. And now with the combination of being able to podcast or do voiceovers uh, with this microphone on the go is incredible. So I wish it came with a carrying case, but that's my next step to get a carrying case. Small, little con, but for anywhere from 50 to $70, depending upon what model you choose, this microphone is definitely recommended. So uh, make sure to go to stevierichardsonline.com for all your tech and fitness needs, subscribe here to the YouTube channel. And of course, since we're talking about podcasting, please subscribe to the Stevie Richards Online Podcast. See you in the next video.